Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in downtown Sevierville, Tennessee. We're getting ready to meet up with another YouTube channel. Very excited about that. We're also excited to be taking you guys along with us to... Grace Burger. Grace Burger. Woo! For the starters here at Gray's Burger, they have fried pickles, wings, nachos, mushrooms, queso dip, fried green tomatoes with pimento cheese, and charred wings. And here is the burger selection. They have the local farmer, the Tennessee, which sounds really delicious, the hippie, the love bird, y'all, the mad Greek, and a bison burger. And here are the hot dog selections, the trailer park, the late night, and the queue. All of their burgers are grass-fed beef, 100% all natural, no hormones, no antibiotics, no steroids. And they are served with hand-cut fries or battered onion rings. And you can see here that they also have a 50-50. If you can't decide, you can have both. All right, everybody, we are joined here with Brent and Grace from Brace Yourself. What did you guys end up ordering? I got the Chili Chili Bang Bang, which is a chili burger. It's more slowly than it is chili-y, but there is some on there for sure. It's actually, it's the chili part is good. The slaw, eh, maybe a little unnecessary, but it's messy. It looks good, though. I got a fried chicken sandwich called uh, Love Bird, y'all, maybe? Yeah. I don't yeah, know. There you go. They all have funny names. I couldn't remember them. It's ginormous. I really struggled to get a bite. I thought it was really salty. Brett thought it was delicious, but it's good. Awesome. <laughs> and then Henry and Gentry are sharing here. And what did you guys get? I got the Q. They got the Q. And do you remember what the Q is? A little bit of barbecue, a little bit of bacon. bacon sausage. Mm -hmm. Comes with some fries. And it looks like you guys added on an order of mac and cheese. <laughs> with bacon jam. Bacon jam. Yeah, we got it on the side. We didn't know if Henry would like that or not. So. On the side. I got the hippie, which is the veggie burger, black beans, corn, feta cheese, roasted peppers, bourbon, caramelized onions, sauteed mushrooms, local greens, tomatoes, house pickles, and pesto mayo. Um, I asked for it with no mayo because I'm not a mayo fan. But as you can see, they ran it through the garden and it looks like a homemade veggie burger, so I'm really excited. Looks like those sauteed mushrooms. They were plentiful along with all the other stuff. And for your sides there? I got the half and half and you can do that with, with no upcharge. So I got their um, house made french fries and onion rings. I ordered the southern jam. I really wanted to order the Tennessee but I am not a smoked Gouda fan and I'm sure you could probably substitute the cheese but I want to enjoy the burger as they present it here on the menu and so I got the southern jam and it has bacon jam, uh, as you can see, it has some bourbon, caramelized onions on the bottom. There's also a little bit of bacon jam, fresh lettuce. It says fresh from the garden on the menu, if I'm not mistaken. Tomatoes, we'll see about that. And then, of course, pickles. And over here, I had to go with the 50-50 and try out their famous onion rings as well as their hand-cut fries. So we'll see how it is here at Gray's Burger. So you can always tell a homemade veggie burger because it kind of falls apart a little bit. So it's not frozen. And it looks almost like a smash burger also. So pretty big. Oh, half the burger came off. Let's see. Just pop that back on. Looks like you have to pretty much assemble that thing before you take a bite. <laughs> Look at all those mushrooms, oh my goodness. Mushrooms on top of mushrooms. Try a piece of the burger by itself. Oh, 
as you can see, all those good ingredients. Lots of black beans I see there. Yes. That's really tasty. It's almost like a, a little bit of a Southwest. So it's not like super spicy or anything, but you got that like Southwest taste to it. The bread is crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Love that. And not toasted on the inside, but I don't know. It almost looks like homemade bread, so that's pretty cool. And all those fresh ingredients really help to make up this really delicious hearty burger. So be sure those are homemade also. So these do have a little bit of, of oil to them and everything like that, but they do taste good. Um, I kind of wish they were a little bit crispier, but they're very tasty. I love this brioche, brioche bun, but like Jennifer just pointed out that I did not notice. I uh, really wish they would have maybe put a little bit of butter on there and put this on the fryer just to give it that extra crisp that goes well with a, a good burger. But here we go. First bite of this monstrosity called the Southern Jam. You know, I think it was Chick-fil-A back in the fall. They had a combination of pimento cheese with their chicken. And I was a big fan of that, especially for a fast food sandwich. And my mind doesn't think of pimento cheese mixing well with chicken or mixing well with a hamburger. But I have been pleasantly surprised, not only with Chick-fil-A, but also here at Gray's Burger. Um, that is a fantastic combination. And the pickles are really good, too. Um, how thick these pickles are. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up just how thick these are, but it add, added that special touch and depth to the texture of the burger. Very flavorful. Um, it's it's fantastic. I, I mean, I'm a big fan of this. The caramelized onions, you get a little bit of that bourbon kick in that taste as well, and uh, it's very, very good. Now I'm going to try the hand-cut fries here. Pretty decent. Um, I wish they kind of had some malt vinegar. Malt vinegar would go so good with these hand cut fries. They're not too crispy. I don't like crispy fries. I like soft fries and the three random ones that I just grabbed a second ago are soft, flavorful, and they have that good potato taste. The only thing I think that would take them an extra notch up would be some malt vinegar. All right guys, final bill here came out to a total of $75.45 after tax and before tip. That was Gray's Burgers. Brent, what did you think of Gray's Burgers today? I Honestly, I thought it was awesome. I, we came in with maybe a little lower expectations than we probably should have had. The burger was delicious. Our chicken sandwich was delicious. The onion rings, amazing. I'll definitely recommend. Grace. I liked it. My chicken sandwich I thought was a little too salty, but Brent and I ended up trading half of our sandwich, and I really liked his burger, so that was okay. The fries were phenomenal. Very similar to Penn Station Fry, which is one of my favorite fast food fries, so it was really, really good. All right, and Henry. I did the food, and the fries were good, and the burger was good, and the was good. What about that hot dog? Thumbs up, all right, and Gentry. Uh, I tried some of Henry's mac and cheese. I'm a mac and cheese sewer, so that was definitely some good mac and cheese. The the Q was really good too. I got really stuffed in the fries. Definitely gotta have them. And Jennifer. I really enjoyed it as well. I could not finish my whole veggie burger. It was, you know, saw how stacked it was, but it was really tasty. I found myself like kind of picking off the burger part afterward because I didn't want to eat all that bread and everything, but um, it was really tasty. It was very similar to a smash burger, but in veggie form. And it even had that good like grill taste to it and everything. And it was not dried out. Some veggie burgers at places are dried out or they're frozen, you know, patties and everything. But this one was definitely homemade and um, really enjoyed the pickles on there. It, they tasted like they might have been homemade dill pickles also, which were really good and crunchy. And that added another element to the taste. And then um, the onion rings and fries were great too. And when it comes to my meal, I have to say the start of the show was definitely that Southern Jam Burger. It was excellent, and I kind of want to piggyback off of what Jennifer said. The pickles kind of made it. 
And I know that pickles aren't really like a prominent ingredient on cheeseburgers that really make it stand out, but those burgers are fantastic. Uh, the pickles on the burger was fantastic. The under rings were just okay, not my favorite. Uh, the hand cut uh, fries were, were pretty good to say the least. Uh, just like Grace said, uh, very similar to some other hand great establishments that have hand cut fries. Uh, and before we do our outro here, we have to say be sure to check out uh, Brace Yourself. But guys, we thank you so much for joining us here in Sevierville, Tennessee. And we sure to look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday. All right, guys, so we have Brent and Grace here from the channel Brace Yourself. Tell us a little bit more about your channel, guys. We are based in Indiana, about central Indiana. We've been doing food reviews for about a year and a half now. Um, we do a lot of Gatlinburg videos, though, even though we're from Indiana. We love to vacation down here and everywhere else, and we've loved watching Every Day Saturday the whole time since we very first started. They're one of our favorite channels, so it was great to get out and meet them for dinner. Well, I'll, all I'll say is... <laughs> They always say don't meet your heroes here, but we met these guys, uh, Brent and Jennifer, Gentry, Henry. That's, ew. we're not disappointed. They're awesome. <laughs> keep watching, watch us, subscribe, at Brace Yourself channel. We're gonna keep doing this. Comment, tell us what you wanna see, and we'll do it. <laughs> it was very nice to meet y'all, and we enjoy watching y'all's channel. And guys, be sure to check them out. We're gonna put a link in the description below. We interrupt this video to bring you an exclusive offer from Shady Rays. Shady Rays is the largest and fastest growing independent eyewear company in America. And you can receive 30% off your order at ShadyRays.com by entering promo code SATURDAY365. Shady Rays offers a lost and broken warranty as well as a craftsmanship warranty and a portion of all proceeds go back to helping local communities. If you're looking for some new shades this summer, head over to Shady Rays and enter the exclusive code SATURDAY365 to receive 30% off your order. Once again, that's SATURDAY365.